now we have our fish drop. Hi, welcome to Cooking with Ceruli. Today, I'm going to show you how to make hamuga de junas. If you remember from last time when we made our doof guys, he pretty much made a nice tangy sweet thing. If you tried that at home, you probably loved it. But now, I'm going to show you how to make hamuga de junas. Start by getting a little bit of wax paper. Spread it out just a little bit. This is so we don't make a mess. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get one egg. Now it has to be a large egg. If you're using small eggs, you're going to need two. Huga banana kinananana. Okay? Once you get your eggs out, what you need to do is get one can of tomato sauce. Now, I like to use Del Monte because that tastes pretty good. <laughs> okay, now also what you want to do is you're going to get a little bit of vinegar. Now make sure your wax paper is securely down before you start making your hamuga de junas. After that, you're going to get some hot sauce, paper towel, and two cans of red eye salmon. I like to use the red eye salmon. You could use the blue eye salmon. You can use the salmon with not any eyes. I really don't care. Okay. Get a little bit of vinegar. I like to use this old honey jug. All right, that won't open. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use water. Because water and vinegar are pretty much the same thing right there. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take one egg, just one. I said you could use two if you're using a large one, but you're going to use one. And put it right in there, okay? Now once your egg's in there, what you're going to do is let it sit there overnight. You have to let it sit there overnight, otherwise it's going to explode when you try to make the humuga de juna. Now, I like to put a little bit of uh, seasonings in there, so I'm just going to put, you know, some stuff that I usually put in there, and uh, it's going to taste good. Once you wait overnight, it should look something like that. Okay, now if you wait four nights, it's going to look pretty bad and you're not going to want to use it. Um, so basically, I like to wait two nights to give it a better taste and um, so that it tastes better. Okay, after about two days, it's going to look something like that and it's going to have a little bit of color. Now, you can still see the egg in there. Now, what you want to do after the second day is put the other egg in there. Now, make sure you don't crack it because if you crack it, then the hamuga de juna won't be inside. Now, sometimes you get the eggs with the chickens inside. Sometimes you get the eggs with the uh, yellow stuff inside. What you want to do is get all the stuff out of the egg without cracking it. Okay? Once you do that, you're going to open up your tomato sauce. Now, be careful. What I like to do is when I'm doing the tomato sauce is uh, I like to put a little bit of water back in the can. So what happens is it kind of gets like, you know, a little bit of uh, tomato taste, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to add a little bit of water back in the can, pour it back in there. Okay, once you put the tomato sauce in there, I use about half of the two cans of salmon. So put that right in there. <laughs> Now what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and put the salmon right in there. Okay. Uh, now this is the hard part. The hot sauce. If you put too much hot sauce in there, it's going to be too hot. If you put too little hot sauce in there, it's going to be too mild. Okay. So to play it safe right over now, what I'm going to do right up is I'm going to put a little bit in there, then I'm going to taste it right up, and then if it's not um, powerful enough for me, I'm going to put a little bit more right in there, you know what I'm saying, right <laughs> Okay. 
I don't like hot sauce, so I'm not even going to put it in. Okay. Okay, the next step in making your hamuga de junas is to get everything mixed up nice and easily. So just go ahead and put everything right into a bowl. And what you're going to do is uh, go ahead and mix everything up and make sure that everything is okay. Now you want to leave a little bit of top on the egg so that you can stuff a little bit of um, kunahinki and uh, kakamunga and uh, snipcock inside there because I, let me tell you when you add a little bit of kunahanaga inside of a sigidi bunga that's going to taste similar to a dufka but it's not going to be quite like a dufka it's going to be closer more to a pound cake area you know what I'm saying okay once you get that in there you're going to add some spices give it up or kick it up a notch you know what I'm saying and you're going to go ahead and transfer it to a frying pot now, once you've been simmering it for about 20-25 minutes, it's going to start to look like this. It's going to come out to a nice base. Okay, what, you, what usually happens after about 40-45 minutes is it starts to evaporate and uh, expand into a big pot like this. So I like to put parsley, garlic, shubinahona, sweat mold. I don't need the donut with one foot on all. But you got to go ahead and do it in a way that's going to go ahead and taste good, you know what I'm saying? I mean, when you eat a, a huganahina, you want to go and keep going, you know what I'm saying? Keep going. If you don't do that, you're going to have to go to the bathroom. So, uh, basically, when you're done eating, you want to clean everything up and make sure you go to the bathroom right away. I suggest you eat some poison because that stuff is when you eat the smoke and the hina, kanana hanana, you mean, I don't even know. I don't even know how to, you know, to do that in the correct way. So, uh, on behalf of Cerulli Studios in Albuquerque, New Mexico, I'd like to thank you for watching Cooking with Cerulli. It's been a great season, and it's already our third episode. Our second episode, I'm sorry. Now, uh, from Dukas to Sigidi Bungas to Hamuga de Junas, you're going to learn how to make everything within this whole first season. Thanks for watching Food TV, and i got to clean up this kitchen. Boom! So, uh, bye-bye. Hey, I can hear the ocean. Presentation by Christopher Cerulli in Cerulli Studios in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Thank you for watching WB.